changes may have to take place, but for the most part, kind of decide what we're going to do from here on out and try to stick to that. Try to stick to that. That's the message this Fort Wayne Community Schools parent has for the district tonight. After district leaders sent an email to parents saying that all elementary school teachers will either teach in person or full time remote, but not both. Thanks for choosing us tonight at 11 o'clock. I'm Brian McElhatton. Krista has the night off. That change could require some students to switch teachers, which doesn't sit well with one parent we spoke with tonight. ABC 21's Ariel Cadet has that story. That's right, Brian. Mary Carr says her son loves his kindergarten teacher and she hates the idea that he may have a new one. She does understand, though, that this decision may help lighten the workload for a lot of FWCS teachers. Take a look at that smile. Mary Carr snapped this photo of her son on his first day of kindergarten. Carr says even though he was remote, he got to meet his teacher in person and he loved her. She included him in show and tell via Zoom. Last Friday, I think that, you know, he saw the, you know, the whole classroom and her and I think it just, I think that's what made the connection as he got to meet her in person before he started. Now that FWCS teachers can no longer teach both remote and in person, Carr says she's worried he'll have to switch teachers. She says there have been times where his teacher is not there and her son misses her. So for last week, we did have somebody else from the district and it really kind of upset him. He kept asking, why am I not seeing my teacher? And, you know, it was just really hard because he got used to her. And Although her son is remote, she does worry about the students who are learning in person, too. But those kids that are in class, you know, have gotten used to a teacher, and now all of a sudden they may, may lose their teacher, and I'm just, you know, worried how that's going to affect them. She says students have been through a lot, from dealing with schools ending early in the spring to starting back again in the fall with many changes. Well, they've started, you know, whether it be in person or remote, have gotten on a schedule, got used to the teachers they're seeing, whether in person or remote. And now to think that's all going to change, it's just like so much for, for the little ones to comprehend. Carr says although she's not happy with this change, she does understand that it could help a lot of the teachers who have been juggling so much this school year. We do understand, you know, if it has to change, we will, we will adjust. It may take some time, but at the same time, you know, the teachers have families of their own and, you know, they can't do everything. FWCS says the change will take effect on Monday. They say parents who have questions are asked to contact the child's school.